So we've been going through with the boy and girl names. So I really don't even know where to begin. Like we've already got a tally. So if you can see up here, I'm gonna go with pink. So we're gonna go with girl names. So what do we got right now? I guess top is Raven. Can you even see this down here? No. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. We'll just leave that part there. So right now we've got, this is kind of what we're going with. So this is top tender right now, Raven Sky Cruise. I figured the way that you can kind of feel out how a name sounds is if you think about three things. One, uh, what that name sounds like when you call them nicely and you're like, Raven, come here, Raven. That's cool. Or when you're upset and you're like, Raven! Like, yeah, can I yell that? Probably could. Uh, and then I'm thinking about like when they're calling off maybe like a graduation stage or maybe when they're you know reading like, hey, this name of the person is like, oh, uh, uh, what's it called? And coming to the stage is uh, Raven Sky and they walk across. Now you also want to make sure that that doesn't sound the opposite way. So you don't want stripper names. It's like, and coming to the stage, Raven Sky. Like, so that doesn't really sound like a stripper name to me because Raven sounds a little bit more you know, damp, and it doesn't really sound really hype. Her name's not like freaking Strawberry. It's not, that's a little different. If you're out there, that's a stripper name. Raven, they were and coming to Raven. Like, nah, just a little gloomier. Doesn't really work as a stripper name, so that works. Raven Sky. Now we thought of some other alternatives too, like um, one my parents just gave us was after, I guess, my great-grandmother and my father, um, on my, yeah, on my grandfather's side. So Raven Lola. I like that one. Um, some people have put out some other names. Like I, I heard some really cool ones online. Like we put out some posts and people were giving us some really good ideas. Um, Ivy, like I kind of think that's like a twofold reference. Like you've got Raven for like Raven Dark Home, Marvel, you know, and you've got Mystique. You've got Raven from also from like the Teen Titans. So it's a DC reference at the same time. If you wanted to shorten it up. Um, well, actually I'll come to that in a second, but Ivy, also, um, in addition to it being like a Poison Ivy reference in DC Comics, my mom's name is Yvette. Nobody ever called her. Everybody called her Betty. And I thought it was kind of a play on that. So I was like, instead of Yvette, and everybody always missed, it's not, it's not a I, it's a Y. But people always spell it with an I. Ivy, like Yvette, I thought it was cool. So that's one thing. But with the Raven thing, we also thought, hey, what about if, for short, people can call her Ray. So it's a two-fold reference, or actually three-fold reference, so it's also Ray Star Wars reference. And we had also considered as a possibility, and just instead of that, Ray, Ben, middle name. So Ray, first name, middle name, Ray, Ben, Cruz. And I thought it was also kind of really similar to Eli's middle name, because he's having some issues with the fact that his last name is different, so he he kind of voiced to us that he feels some kind of way about that, that you know, his brother or sister won't have the same last name as him. And so we've talked about a couple of different things, and I'll, I'll probably have to touch on that in a, in a different video or a different subject, but it's something that you know, we hadn't even considered was going to be an issue where you know, he feels, hey, well, what about me? So we're trying to definitely incorporate him into the whole brother-sister naming convention and make sure that he's comfortable with what he can call. So that's what we've got going on right now for girl among some other things but I guess it's just kind of the top contender and